Hi folks, I'm back from GalaxyNote2Root.com. For this week's ROM of the week for all the Galaxy Note 2s, um, check out SOKP ROM. This is stand for Sonic Open Kang Project, sort of like AOKP. Um, they changed the Android, first Android word to SO, uh, Sonic. Um, it is available for all the Galaxy Note 2 variants, including AT&T T-Mobile Sprint, Verizon, GTN 7105, GTN 7100. I've got it installed on my Verizon Galaxy Note 2. Uh, working pretty well, my data working, 4G LTE working, um, all the basics working. Uh, and also I've got it installed on my GTN 7100. This is probably the hottest AOSP ROM right now. Now it's not perfect, um, there are some bugs you'll find I found out. Uh, but it is near perfect um, in terms of performance and uh, features you'll get. Let me go ahead and show you here, um, you can make everything dark by making uh, turning on dark SOKP, which I highly recommend. That'll save you battery life on the AMOLED screen on the Note 2. Um, let me go ahead and show you. Uh, this is running the latest Android 4.4.2 uh, KitKat. And I've also got a uh, custom kernel. There's this kernel called Agni uh, Kernel. It is awesome. Um, you can overclock it um, to even two gigahertz, which I don't recommend. It probably won't run that fast. Um, go ahead and run Acne Control if you do install the kernel and you want overclocking, which I highly recommend. It is available for all the Node 2s, by the way. Um, for the GTN 7100, make sure you install the GTN 7100 version of the kernel and everybody else uh, install the GTN 7105. Up in Acne Control, you'll be able to change your governors. There's a ton of governors. I really like it. Uh, my favorite probably is Lulz Active Q. Um, that is pretty nice. For max frequency, um, you can go up to 2 gigahertz on the GTN 7100 and also 1.8 gigahertz on the uh, other models. But I've got it to 1.8 gigahertz. It is doing pretty fast. You can undervolt also, which can save you um, some battery life or keep your battery life about the same while being able to overclock. I do recommend kind of testing slowly up all the way to negative 100 millivolts. Um, and uh, find out which uh, undervolt um, setting works best for you. And you can also even change the charging here. You can get it to 1900 milliamps. Um, that will make your charging just a tad faster. So very nice stuff. Uh, some extra stuff, there's even add-on tweaks where you can tweak the volume of your headphone, change the equalizer, um, all this uh, stuff, and also miscellaneous stuff. Um, so very nice kernel that makes your phone run much, much faster. And you can also install this kernel in any uh, AOSP ROM such as CM11, Beanstalk, any 4.4.2 KitKat ROMs. Um, so very nice stuff with the kernel along with this ROM. I really like it. Uh, if you go to settings here, if you go to S SOKP control, you'll find all of the customizations you can do. Um, now, I'll just go over some of these uh, since there is so many things you can do. Uh, for example, you can change the double tap action to launch camera. And now if I do double tap with my home key, I'll be able to record uh, videos, which is sort of nice. And also this camera is just a tad bit laggy, um, to tell you the truth. Uh, so if you need a good camera, um, I might just go with a TouchWiz ROM or go with another AOSP ROM. That's the only thing that, you know, that's the developers still working on. So probably by next week or the week after, um, everything should be even smoother than ever. It also comes with three different launchers. You can go ahead and go to SOKP Control, go to Home, and change to Galaxy Launcher, which is sort of like um, your standard TouchWiz launcher, which isn't actually TouchWiz. Um, you can also switch to Inspire Launcher if you want to, and that will get you the Inspire Launcher. Uh, but my favorite is definitely the original KitKat Launcher, um, along with Nova Launcher, which you can get on the Play Store. Uh, also, you got to SOKP Halo. Um, this is Halo floating notifications with the little uh, circle there. And which I'll show you in a second, um, notification shortcuts. Uh, let's actually go to something interesting, lock screen notifications. I really love this. Make sure you turn this on and it will wake your device up when you get um, notification there. S a lot of options you can play with. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. 
and you can see I've got notifications on my lock screen. Um, if you want to see it, simply press on it and you can go straight to your email box. So very nice stuff. I really like that feature. Of course, these are all features taken uh, from other AOSP ROMs. Um, theme style, you can change the colors of your lock screen, lock screen widgets, uh, lock icon torch, this is nice. You can go ahead and uh, hold down this button and that will launch your flashlight, let go, and that will uh, turn off your um, LED flash. Active display if you need it, and this one also has pocket mode, a bunch of customizations, navigation bar, uh, Pi controls. I mean, there is a ton of stuff you can do with this ROM, and if you go to advanced controls, you'll get uh, additional uh, audio settings, digital Dolby. Now, I do recommend using Viper for audio for all your radio, um, audio stuff, but this is additional stuff you can use. Um, test it out. And there's also performance control. You don't really need to use that. Um, I do recommend, I actually, that part I don't like about this ROM. I like the acne control a lot better. Uh, or you can get, um, what is that called? I have it on my other phone here. You can also get the Trickster mod, which is a very good uh, CPU uh, voltage controller that you can use. And let's go to display and animations. You can go ahead and change all of your animations. Let's just change some of these. And sorry, I'm just kind of jumping from place to place. Uh, there's a ton of things to cover with this ROM. Now, if you go to advanced controls, go to utilities, you'll also find a bunch of uh, exposed modules. To enable this, make sure you hit framework once. And what you'll do is hit install update. Make sure you hit uh, allow for super user request. All right, and it will ask you to reboot. Don't reboot yet. Go to modules. Uh, check on any of these modules that you want to use and go ahead and reboot after that. A uh, Fab 7 will allow you to run your phone in tablet, uh, tablet, phablet, phone mode. Also, expose app settings. I have a full tutorial guide on that. You can use that to um, run your favorite apps in tablet, a uh, custom DPI mode. Um, if you're having trouble with Netflix, um, go ahead and try the Netflix workaround. And also, X Halo floating window. You can get a bunch of floating windows with that one, which I'll show you in a second. Let me go ahead and reboot real quick, and uh, I'll be back real shortly here. Let me go ahead and show you the boot animation. It's got a dragon instead of the, uh, the uh, pink, the rainbow uh, unicorn, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so it booted up here. And as you can see, I really like this ROM. It has got a ton of features. Um, not everything works perfectly, but you know, with the number of options you can put on this ROM, um, it is under understandable there might be some bugs. Now, if you want to do floating uh, windows, and also this ROM does have multi-window. If you don't enable anything, um, you can go ahead and hold down, go to the recents, uh, hold down on the app, add to split view. There we go. And let's add the Play Store to the split view. And you got a uh, full multi-window right there. And let's go ahead and type hi on Android. Dot com and I really like the font on this also it looks very very nice and there we go and there is a bug where you have to kind of tap on it to get to the Play Store well it's just, it's a little bit buggy um, that these features are still being worked on let me go ahead and show you the the floating multi-window. Um, go ahead and go to UI settings and advanced controls. Go to floating multi-windows. Um, you can change the size of your windows here. Uh, change the height when it's in portrait. Uh, landscape mode, you can change the uh, size there also. I'm gonna go ahead and actually change these. Um, make them a little bit smaller so I can fit more. And also like that. All right. And let's go to movable and resizable. You can move and resize your floating windows. Uh, once you enable those, let's get out into the main menus here and go ahead and go to SOKP Halo. Halo. All right, make sure and enable this. All right. And this will basically enable Halo 
and the floating multi window works through the halo um, so that's why you need to leave it on and that's I think that's pretty much it and go ahead and turn on halo which you can do like that and it's just gonna go through there and you can also download uh, if you wanna enable your favorite apps go download halo app here and you'll be able to download um, this one here this is the halo app and go ahead and install that and here we go got notifications now and let me see if I can add some of my favorite apps um, go ahead and add let's say Chrome we'll just go ahead and add Chrome any app that's not a notification and you want to add it to the floating multi window and there we go so we got our first floating multi window and let's go ahead and type high on Android there and also you can resize it um, and you can do this with any app so this is sort of an experimental feature uh, if you use it with your S Pen it might actually make more sense um, since you can really you know resize it better uh, so very nice stuff ah, sometimes these keys don't work that's the only thing <laughs> experimental about it um, so definitely something to play with something not you probably wouldn't use on a daily basis but you know it's kind of a preview of what's coming up with AOSP ROMs what developers have been working on um, but all of this you can get with SOKP ROM and I know this is getting kind of long um, so definitely I'll let you try some of the other stuff you know even if you don't need all of the features there's enough features where you can just go ahead and pick the ones you want and most of them work pretty good most of these main uh, control features work good just some of the experimental stuff are a little bit buggy uh, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week and do let me know what you think if you're looking for a good uh, S S uh, pff, AOSP ROM sorry it's getting confusing AOSP ROM that has a ton of features uh, floating multi-window multi-window um, definitely check this one out and do let me know what you think and as always if you have a Galaxy Note 2 uh, don't forget to sign up for my email it's at galaxynote2root.com and I will see you guys soon um, have a great weekend and uh, next week we will feature more TouchWiz ROMs uh, back to the regular schedule but this week is SOKP week um, so try check it out do let me know what you think, and I will see you guys soon. Stay high on Android.